I could remember the first movie I seen like what people having sex in was uh Species. I knew he was gonna say <laughs> that way. She got me. I, I was like, oh, yo, I knew, I knew you was gonna say that. Every real nigga in America with a VCR had species, and as a little nigga, you spanked your shit to that. I go, yes. Nigga, <laughs> what? Nah, species. I think they did. What's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? It's your boy, Big Wavy Legend, man. This is the Legendland Podcast, episode 57. Is it 57? Fifty-seven. Hold it is on. fifty-seven. It's fifty-seven. We did, we did fifty-six. 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 That was wasn't that Urlacher? Oh, Urlacher, Brian Urlacher. Wait, fifty-seven. So we be doing for sixty. We gotta do that Nipsey Hustle episode. Ooh. Cause I grew up in the sixties. <laughs> not was, me, not me, not was, me. But yeah, niggas that did. What's good? I got my brother with me as always. Yes, welcome back. We here. Mo Black, the legends in the building. Mo fucking Black is in the fucking building. I miss I miss y'all niggas, man. We got the chief editor, mm-hmm. executive director, yes sir, fashion guru, yes sir. We in Three G Valley Studios. What's good? What's good? What's good? Documentary coming soon. The life of Three G Valley. What's mm. good? What y'all niggas been up to, man? I just fucking, <laughs> I just shut down. What's good, Black? Listen, man, I'm returning. I'm returning to prominence. Man. Mm. You know, mental. I don't want to speak or say it's mental health, but just in general, like it could, but that could just, play just a part. being aware of you know yourself and what's going on, and sometimes you might be a person that it's not necessarily that you don't got people. It's just so that your your character. And your personality is one that's like, yo, I got it. I'm gonna handle it. I'm a, I'm gonna put on mm-hmm. a, I'm gonna put on a book bag. I'm gonna carry what I gotta carry, and and it'll get done. You know. So, with that being said, I'm I'm returning to prominence. I'm returning to to pure legend. Legend. And I can't wait for the next few months to 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 basically. Um, I don't. I got the word for it, but like to show, not just not anybody specifically, but just mm-hmm. to show and prove to myself that the months I, the months I, what they say, stay down. Like the months I stay down is gonna make sense in the next few months. You know what I'm saying? So I can't wait. And you know what's crazy, bro? Like I put a post up today, and I and I said, and I said, my ment- my mental health is not is not where it's supposed to be. Mm. But I still put that mask on. I put this mask on. Really, I feel like this. But I put this mask on. Feel me? And then I I, I keep it pushing. Because at the end of the day, you got to keep it pushing. But I just feel like sometimes you isolate yourself so much thinking that, you know, if I isolate myself, I, I could, I could, you know, I could heal and I could, I could just get what I got to get done. I just isolate myself, but then you isolate yourself so much, you yourself, you start to realize, damn, nobody fuck with me. I don't got nobody. It's not that niggas don't fuck with you or you don't got that support. You stepped away from that. So when you do, when you do isolate yourself, you you gotta you gotta realize like, yo, I'm gonna isolate. Give yourself a time. Like this month, I'm I'm just doing me, mm-hmm. and come back to come back to reality. For me, that's the type of shit I've been on, but. You know, every, you know, every, as long as, I feel like as long as you speak on what you're going through and, you know, whether you speak it to one person or whether you fucking speaking it to yourself, mm-hmm. you know, just, you know, take care of that, man. Take care of that. And it's always, let me, I want, I want to talk about something before we get into our shit. Mm-hmm. It's a gang that everybody's joining. It's this gang. And I feel like everybody's joining it. Some people succeed in the gang. Some people don't. Y'all don't know what gang I'm talking about? Nah, what gang is that? It's the nation of get back. Mm, it's the G. It's the it's the get back gang. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what does when I say get back, the get when I say get back, what is it when you hear get back, what does that mean to you? A loss occurred. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A loss occurred and they got away with it, but they ain't get away with it. <laughs> 
I could have died for that. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? They get, they got away with it. But, but they ain't get away with it. But they ain't get away with it. <laughs> Shout out T-Rex. Shout out T-Rex. It was good. Fucking, the get, what does get back mean to you, G? Let's hear it. They got his hands for it. Now I feel the same with Mo. Like, you, you got a loss. Um, you got to, like, step back and be, like, like see the situation and conquer, like. Mm. So, yeah. It's the give. I feel like that's the only gang everybody should subscribe to. Not revenge. Not revenge gang. Mm-hmm. Not um get revenge. G R G. Get revenge <laughs> gang. At all. Everybody's get back gang. You gotta. At the end of the day, you gonna fall. You gonna. Feel me. You, you're gonna fail as a human being. You're going to fail. But nothing is more important than the fucking get back. This, this that, that's you speaking gospel right now, bro. Shh, like, come on, man. This is gospel. Legendary. And I say that to say I say that to say this because, you know, like within the past few weeks, the like few conversations I have had, and then you I just come into contact with other people. Yep. In, in my daily life, that's just like, damn, he ain't figured out or she ain't figured out what I figured out already. You know, and it's kind of hard. It's kind of tough because you thinking like being around the same age as somebody. You like, yo, I, I'm sure they experienced what I experienced, or I'm sure they they got these lessons. But everybody don't get certain lessons, bro. Mm-mm. And then it's, it's like, damn, it sucks that everybody can't hang out with you. You know, it's just like that's how life works. You can't be around everybody. You can't give your knowledge, your inspiration, your wisdom to everybody. And it's like just kind of tough because it's like, yo, if they only knew. And what Wave is saying is so important because it's like, yo, you're going to take a loss. Like, Go, it's, it's inevitable. Inevitable. Unless you miss the lucky luck. Even a win is a loss sometimes. Even mm-hmm. a win is a loss sometimes. You might have got a drink that you felt like you needed and you ain't need it. And then you're like, damn, son, I was feeding for this. It's not even worth it. Like, I ain't even have to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like a win, a win, a win is a loss. And that's just one experience. But, yeah, bro, and once people understand that they're able to you know they're able to recover from a loss better they're able for to to join get back gang they're able to look at it from that standpoint versus just why shit happened to me it's always me it ain't always you it's 50 of you it's millions of you (laughs) shit you get what i'm saying you keep saying that but that's not true but when you speak stuff like that into the world, then it is going to be true. And you're going to keep taking losses because you're not looking at the losses the right way. You're not looking at it with the intentions of getting back. Like, okay, I see why this happened or I don't see why this happened. But mm-hmm. in my in my mental, I'm going to make sure it don't happen again. I'm going to prepare myself so it don't happen again. I'm going to prepare myself so that the next time the opportunity comes and I might lose again. But because I lost before, I know how to win this time. You get what I'm saying? Like, people got to start adapting these mindsets, you know. Hopefully, everybody watching this who ain't ain't much in tune with it, get it now. Like, okay, okay, I see what they talk about. Try it. Like, yeah. if you don't believe it, try it. Subscribe to the Get Back, man. Get the... I salute. Listen, get Back Gang Up, man. Listen, man. Get Back Gang Up, man. I'm, that's, what, that's, that's, that's what I'm jacking, man. You just... You... Like, you just got to look, man. Don't look at social media. You ever seen them dudes on social media be like... Yo, I want to tell y'all how I, I made a million on Amazon market. Um, I made a, um, a trillion on this and this and that. You don't even know niggas probably didn't even make that. Go ahead, you see the, the, the voice of one nigga like, I'm going to tell you how much I made a million in, in one year off of YouTube. Nigga yeah. Like, you see how easy I can lie on this shit? Exactly. See, <laughs> you, oh, see, nah, see. You, see, you see you see, how easy it is to lie to y'all motherfuckers on this shit, man? Don't look at somebody's success like, damn, why the fuck am I not there? You feel me? Look at look at your stuff and look at what you what you got going and going on and say I'm good, but I could always fucking do better. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Take take that loss. Don't even don't even frown. Don't cry. Don't nothing. Just activate that get back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just activate call call a gang call a gang up. Yo, get back. It's time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's time to get back. What's good? You feel me? Everybody loses. Everybody loses. But everybody don't get back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everybody I fucking like loses, but everybody does not get back. Especially watching people. You could think somebody winning all day long and they losing. 
constantly. <laughs> but what you see in his wins, they making sure what you see is wins, but they losing constantly. And that's what you got to be like, okay, you know. That's why sometimes it's like, I don't even, you don't even got to go to to the gram for stuff. You know, like, obviously everybody's different, but, like, I could win sneakers. I don't got to go to the gram and show that I won a pair of sneakers, bro. Because then now everybody like, yo, the sneakers winning. I got the dunks. They start writing you and shit. Yo, you winning. You that nigga, bro. But it's like, nah. I got the dunks. I just got yes. a pair of sneakers because that's my lifestyle. That don't mean <laughs> I'm winning. That's what I do. I do that shit in my sleep. Mm-hmm. You know what? That, that make a lot of people... It's good that you say that because a lot of people would pick a certain shit like, like oh, sneakers, and that's their personality. It's like, damn. Like, no yeah. Man, no, it's going for yourself. Nope. Exactly. Hey, so what you like doing in your spare time? You Jordan 5. That's why I post up. When I <laughs> when I did post the sneakers up, I liked, I liked um, PJ Tucker, his brand, um, his company mm-hmm. in Houston, the better generation. Like, he's he's partnered with them for that store, and, and they dropped, they got, I guess they got them, you know, the Nike, um, what you whatever you call it, the the, the store, you know, the store connection or whatever with mm-hmm. Nike and stuff like that. So they get to drop a lot of the, you know, most sought after kicks. But they real cool, like they respond in the DM things like that. But I actually the pair that I won from them was for my bro. You get what I'm saying, niggas. If you really know me, you know I don't wear a size 11. You get what I'm saying, but I held somebody else down. <laughs> These are the white submits. I told you. Remember, it's funny because remember I told you I was like, "Yo, retail pairs is still out there," and I ended up winning. Late, that was that that raffle be open for four minutes on the app. Mm. So you do the raffle, and then they have an IG live where in the comments, I guess you pick numbers, and they go from each size down. They go from like the highest size down, and however many they got, whatever number you pick, they go and search through the people who picked that size, and they call them. And if you pick up. You won. Mm. But you got to answer the call. But the call is like an unknown number. So as soon as I seen it, I, I already watched him before. So I already knew it was the call. I was like, yo, had to, had to spice it up for a lot. Like, yeah, let's get it. <laughs> get hype. But yes, yeah, shout out to them. But that's why I do that. But it, otherwise, it's like, yo, I'm not here to, like, I don't got to show wins, bro. Because if I did that all day, you know, like, people would be defeated mm-hmm. if that's how they looking at my page. Like, fuck. I got plenty of vids and shit of, of of wins. You get what I'm saying? Or I could make it look like I'm winning all day. That don't that don't mean nothing though. That's why you can't just watch people on social media and think when oh they winning they winning. Why not me? That's not true, bro. It's not true. It's perspective. Ultimate. It's the ultimate get back, man. But yeah, shout out get back, gang, man. Let's get so speaking of that. Let's just because that was just some something random we just did. Mm-hmm, for sure. Um, let's talk about admiration. Like, I think at to like admiration to feel admiration is important it's important but in our community amongst our demographic admiration is looked at as quote-unquote dick riding you feel what i'm saying like i think it's more so people uh associating with you like looking up to somebody or like just like feeling what they doing as like like some sort of hate type shit like mm-hmm. somebody would you like you might you might like oh this dude is good at at this certain amount of thing and you like yeah. oh homie homie is nice that I like nah bro you bro you dick riding but it's like nah you, we, should, we should embrace the fact that like somebody's good at something right and not just be like yo bro get off his Right, right, right. A lot and a lot of the times though, what that what what's happening is that people are raised differently. You get what I'm saying? And it's it's crazy to say that, but that's what it comes down to. It's like uh, some people raised by the streets and in the streets you hear that a lot. You hear Yo, that you niggas, that niggas dick riding that nigga. You get what I'm saying? So now the next time you see something similar to when he's when that man said that, you like, oh, that's the same shit before from before. Yeah, them niggas, you dick riding that nigga. Then it's like that. That's an ongoing thing now. Versus somebody who grows up understanding what a role model is and understanding that you become a made man in some instances by being inspired by by seeing that something's possible mm. once you see it's possible now you're able to follow that path there are people who blaze their own path and just did it Yo, i don't know i just did it on my own i didn't follow nobody that's true too but there's also people that you know start the path and you you follow along and that's why it works that's a fact um i want to talk about the difference between showing admiration and dick riding i feel like showing 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 admiration is 
is being is being is being honest with somebody. It's being honest, like being being impacted by somebody, and you saying, "Yo, I'm not gonna lie, Gigi, I I love your style. You 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 got me wearing soccer jerseys right now." Like good looking, bro. Like, cause that shit boosted my my drip to another level. Like, that's I feel like that's admiration. Like, showing like showing admiration to, to somebody that you can learn from. Like black, I always I, I always show my love to to, to the legend. I always show my love to Gigi the legend to everybody. You feel what I'm saying? Hundred percent. It's 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 not it's nothing wrong with giving somebody. They flowers when they could smell it. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But then when the nigga dies, oh, 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 I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. you. Come on, you don't, don't, don't show that now. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And I just feel like dick riding is just dick riding is just like I always knew you could do it, bro. Mm. Always knew you could do it. Ain't share nothing. Ain't shit. Ain't share nothing. Don't know. Don't know. The, don't know the first song. Don't know the first song. First few songs. Don't know the tapes. Ain't watched the. Ain't watched the. Ain't really believe in the first couple episodes. Ain't come you out to the. Saying? Ain't come out to the shows. But the shows that that had ten people standing standing out there. Right. But then as soon as you drop an episode with Don Q, it's like, yo, y'all niggas be having me weak, yo. I swear to God. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all, 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 might have the top, y'all might have the top three, top three podcasts out right Yo, now. I swear to God, y'all niggas is the only niggas I watch, bro. I swear to God, that's dick riding. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to the people that support us genuinely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But just to show to show your admiration to somebody, man, I'm gonna give an example. My son MJ, the legend. Shout out MJ. Shout out to MJ Brooklyn, best style. What's good? One of the best players I ever seen. One of the best basketball <laughs> players I've ever I've ever played with. You feel what I'm saying? That right there, that's admiration. But people would take that and say, "Yo, this nigga's dick rider right now." You feel what I'm saying? Literally, that nigga. It was it was it was like the, our last game of the season, and I always every time I speak to MJ, I always tell him this. Mm-hmm. It was our last game of the season. Like I didn't get no burn. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't get no burn. I probably played two games. Like actually on the court. Other other than that, I'm on the bench. I'm like I'm like Udonis Haslam. <laughs> you feel me? So it was like seven minutes left in the game. So coach was like, "Yo, you ready?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm ready." As soon as I, you know, as soon as I, we in, we in the school. As soon as I stand up, take my warm up off, the whole school. Yes, we want wavy. We want wavy legend. I, I I can attest to that factual every time. Yo. We want to see the legend play. He he deserves it. Yo, so boom. So now the the gym is going crazy. So I'm looking on the court like I'm nervous and shit. Like oh shit. I see MJ. I'm leaning down on shit. I see MJ. MJ looks at me like oh shit. Wave about to get in. MJ fouls a nigga, bro. He fouls somebody. Get fouled out. Just so I could go in and play. So I could get more minutes. Legend. That's if that's not legendary, I don't know what is. You feel what I'm saying? Every time I speak to M or I pose him for his beat, I say, yo, bro, I'll never forget that you you fouled out just so I could play more minutes in that game. That's love. That's legendary. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And on top of that, he's like one of the he's a legend. He's really he's dead nice. You feel what I'm saying? That's Too easy. Easy game, fluent game, IQ, playmaker, right shots, right right decisions. Like the niggas, the niggas nice. Shout out to Saquon too, cause I was talking to my son Shout Saquon. Say. I see my son. Nah. Huh? nah, nah, nah. My son, my son. Shout Sa- out Saquon Cook too, though. What's my son? Fact. What's my son Saquon? Saquon is a legend. My son yeah. Say, he caught that triple double in front say of us. Say dose, yes sir. My son Say dose was good. Shout out to all the guys, but he caught that triple double in front mm-hmm. of us. I was like, yeah. My son is nice. It's good. But just to show your admiration to somebody, bro, it's like mm-hmm. it's it's not it won't kill you. Somebody else, um, you know, shout out Ike. Ike, the I legend. Seen, I seen I seen my boy Ike say he ain't have a dollar to his name. You get what I'm saying? Like months before, he ain't have a dollar to his name, and I related to that. I know when I ain't have a dollar to my name, and just like that that mentality and that feeling of like not feeling defeated but being defeated but being like 
this is temporary. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and working what you got. If it's pennies, you got pennies. And traveling wherever you got to go with them pennies and make whatever mm-hmm. you got to make shake and work. And then I see my boy pop back out with that Maserati like that. In the um, shout out to the legend Ike. In the in the frames, what he had the Cartier frames. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? It ain't dick riding. It's admiration because I I know that feeling of being down. Whether I don't got no Maserati yet, but just I understand of not having it at all to make it shit happen. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And that that's the that's what you got to take from that instead of just seeing it like this nigga got a car that I don't got. I'm upset. I hate that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Is it? Is this? Or oh, I'ma try to call him up and be like, "Yo, we need to we need to get together, bro. Let's link. C- try to get a ride and shit. Try to start posting up pics like it's my ride. No, we do. Fuck That's niggas, dick riding. Fuck niggas is talking about. You know what I'm saying? But shout out Ike for sure. 100%. Shout out to the legend. Is it safe to say that you both of y'all subscribe to the Get Back Gang? Of course. <laughs> it's a worldwide gang. It's millions of us. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, like. That's that that's 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 what I love to do, bro. Like I, I just love to give niggas they props, man. Like And they flowers for and sure. They flowers, man. I, I, I love that I feel like a lot more recently, there's a lot more people stepping up to do that. Cause there's people starting to get it. You get what I'm saying? You lose people, you like, damn, I wish you get what I'm saying, I wish I could have did did more back then. But it's like, all right, well, what are you gonna do in your future now? So if you don't start and then you wait for the next person to pass, and then you trying to do it again, and then you like, oh, I fucked up, I should have. Nah, you got to make the change as soon as it's possible. Yep. So shout out everybody doing that. Cause I see it in all different, all different factors, all different like spots in life, different at, um, avenues. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Where people is saluting and giving flowers. So you just gotta. That I'm 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 gonna start that trend. I'm starting that trend. I'm starting that trend on my Instagram. All that. I'm I'm showing that love. Call it what y'all want. I don't care where nigga is from. I don't care what which y'all don't like. I'm I'm, I'm even I them. E- even I guess I'm even, even I guess that come up on the pod like Snoopy De Niro was good. That's flowers legend, without a doubt. Unique was good. You 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 God. Come on man, Forever Young was Forever good. Young. Don Q was Don. good. You feel me, real niggas? Shout out to my bro Ric Flair. Shout out Flair. You feel what I'm saying? I'm show, I'm showing that love. Shout bro. out D-Lo. Shout out to D-Lo. Joe from Y.O. D-Lo Joe. was good. Guys, appreciate y'all. You know, we just, you, you just got to show. Any nigga that come up here is going to get their flowers. For sure. 100%. It's, and, 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 and it's going to feel that like admiration because you never know where that shit could fucking take somebody, bro. You feel what I'm saying? You never know where the fuck somebody, that shit could take. And I, I feel like that's why we still here. Mm-hmm. Because every time we get that talk, yo, why yo, I, y'all niggas, I love y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas together mm-hmm. is fire, yo. Yo, G, we, we get that love in the streets. I was telling Wave, yo, they see me, yo, do see me, bro, and you would think we was best friends, bro. Mm-hmm. My nigga Mo Black was good, and I'm hyped too. Like, yo, what's good? <laughs> I don't really, you get what I'm saying? I don't. I, I meet a lot of people, bro. I dance, like, I be everywhere. I know a lot of people, bro. So. Salute to everybody. I don't got no hate for nobody. And shout out to y'all for, for even being able to like... Some people wouldn't even do that. Like people be nervous or, or scared to speak up in the street. So mm-hmm. when dudes do see that, it feels good. And they like, yo, I see you and Wave doing a podcast. That shit is fire. Yo, keep it up. And it's like, yo, I can't wait to shoot again then. Mm-hmm. I got I got We got to get another we gotta episode out. We, we got to shout out. We got to make a shout out to them guys. Because without them, we can't keep going. You get what I'm saying? That, that alone in the streets... Is is worth more than the internet, to be honest. Cause if a nigga, if a nigga is in, uh, not just a nigga, but you know what I'm saying, anybody on the street is compelled to be like, I want to let them know right, right here that I see them and I see what they doing and that shit is fire and I'm right. laughing. These niggas got me weak every every time I tune in, and it's like yo, and it's and it's we, cr- they watching and it's crazy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it up. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up. I told Gigi, this time documentary, G, 3G Valley documentary, he said he wasn't really feeling it. <laughs> and somebody, I put up this shit, who y'all want to see on the fucking podcast. podcast facts. And the nigga said, I think, <laughs> I think you should interview 3G Valley. Mm-hmm. Because we want to <laughs> know what's going on behind the scenes. Who is this guy? Yep. Who's making this footage immaculate? Mm-hmm. Who's editing this shit? 
And Gigi was like, I don't know, I don't know, man. <laughs> 3G Valley documentary coming soon, man. But it's just shit, it's just shit like that. Niggas want to know, niggas want to see what's good. Real nigga shit, man. Shout out to the God. Shout out to everybody that believe in us, man. Mm-hmm. It's love, bro. For sure. For sure. It's love, man. Too many times, like too many times I'm outside, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing like, yo, I watched the pie, yo, that shit is fire. Or somebody might know Wave. Like, yo, yo, you be with, yo, you with Wave, right? Somebody look like, yo, I ain't gonna front. You you do the podcast? I'd be like, yeah. Like, yo, fire, yo. And it's just like, wow, you get what I'm saying? Because you never know. And it's people that you might not know specifically, but they starting to tune in. They starting to get to know you. They starting to realize, like, yo, he, they got something going over there. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's just like I look forward to this. I continue to look forward to this, and I and I believe in it just like they telling me they believe in it. You get what I'm saying? And, so, to, and, to, just, and to have a legend, um, I have a legend like Mo Black, I call him. This is the humble goat. I'm telling you, like, and I'm. I'm a, I probably said this shit like t- ten podcasts. And I'm gonna say it for the eleventh time. <laughs> I seen niggas run, come up to this nigga, and ask for a fucking picture. And I'm like, the fuck? This is before Ellen. All of that. People. Well, I bought this nigga. I bought him around the guys. They know who they are. We go to the gym in Westchester County, House of Sports. We in Westchester. Sports. We see Ke- the same day we see you there. We seen Kevin mm-hmm. Knox. We seen Kevin Knox. Kev- oh, this shit is Kevin Nick, Knox. Knicks. Knicks niggas. Knicks, what up? Bum. Um, <laughs> so we seen yo, what's good? What's good? He walks out. No, nobody's excited. Why a nigga go, yo, that's Mo Black? Yo, Mo Black, what's up, man? How you doing? Shook his hand. He like, yo, what's good, man? He like, yo, yo, you think I get a picture with you? Takes a picture with Mo Black. My niggas is like, yo, wait, who the fuck is this? <laughs> who the fuck? Who is this nigga? Like, what are we doing? Is this, did we, we, was the park the podcast was going at that time, right? I think so. Was it? But, I think so. But, bro, it's just. Early on, early on. Just off the arm of a legend. Like, it's like, bro, if we, yeah. if we we're blessed to have him here for doing sure, his podcast. Sure. So, that's me giving my brother his, his flowers. He, I always, you know, I always praise my brother, but. Appreciate it. I'm never it's, gonna stop. It's crazy. You know? I, I used to like like Kid the Wiz was always Shout out the Kid the Wiz. Get, you know, the one to get stopped. Like he's been legendary for years. He put in his pain, music, life he music legend. Um he gets stopped twenty four seven. So it was like I'm used to seeing it versus it actually happening to me. When that shit started happening to me, it's like, yo, niggas think I'm important like that. You know what I mean? And it's just like it was it's it's dope. It's dope to see. I obviously still got to get used to it because it doesn't happen that often, but it's still like now that it does happen, I got to be prepared for it. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. I'll I be in the store and the dude, dudes are just coming chanting my name like it's a life feed event. Like, Mo Black, Mo, Mo Black, just hype <laughs> to see me. So it's like, you know, you you get you got to get used to it, but it's also like a testament just to the work that's been had, be, being put in, you know, over the years. That's so. a fact. Lifey episode coming soon, man. I can't wait. Yes, sir. Um, damn, we went crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Let's talk about um our favorite pastime. Let's talk about something we all used to watch and we used to, we thought was real. <laughs> Let's talk about wrestling. You know what's crazy? Wrestling. I remember somebody said, "What's it called? Predetermined." They said wrestling is real, but it's just predetermined. Mm. And I, ever since somebody said that, the I script. looked at it different. The it's script. A, it's a script. They they work together on their moves and shit, but hitting that fucking mat is real. Yeah. Injuries occur. Injuries is real. Hit like, bro, are you are niggas crazy? So we was talking. We was talking about um today's era because my my guy three G Valley he look he watches wrestling. My bro, I think my brother still watch wrestling. A lot of people still watch wrestling, but yeah, a lot of the guys watch wrestling. It's a lot of you know. It's like niggas like me, Black, my son Rick. I mean, Pop Rick, Rick watches still. I think, but you know, me and Black, a couple of us. It's like we just can't get over the attitude era. We can't get over the ruthless aggression, and it's like, why is that? Like, why can't we just transition to the new era? 
Why why do you why do you think black? Um my my first my first thought is just it's no hitters. It's no real hitters to me no more. No. Nah. It's, it's 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 a lot of cool dudes, but it ain't nobody that's like legend 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 where it's like stop what you doing. You got to tune in cuz He's must see TV. It's like, in my opinion, and shout out to the wrestlers that's doing anything right now. For sure. In my opinion, it's nobody that I I, I would want to be like. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas is niggas. Ray Mysterio is on his way out. Boyaka, Boyaka, six one no. Yeah, like the, the 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 yeah, like the people who's withstood the test of time. It's no disrespect to them. Like we know what they've done, and obviously, if somebody was like, "Yo, watch him," he he. It's a good fight right now, and it's somebody I know that was legendary. Of course, yeah. I, I would go and tune in. But outside of them, it's like it's no new guys that's like setting the tone or, or, or bringing the blueprint of like timeless, something that's timeless. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It, they not matching what what, what what The Rock was doing. I was about to say that. It's it's nothing that you, it's it's not a trait. Like, what's something like, the, like let's look at The Rock. The Rock, he had the. The people's eyebrow. He had this. This is shit you could go to school and be like, nigga, <laughs> come get your ass with the son or you. Facts. Or yeah, just wrestling me? on the schoolyard or something, like just imitating the moves you seen the, the night before. The fucking, the, 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 the word play. It doesn't matter what you, you, you can't take none of Candy this Candy ass. You can't, fucking, um, you can't, Rudy Poo. <laughs> <laughs> Jabroni. Jabroni. Jabroni was a... Timeless. Shut the fuck up, you jabroni. Yeah, jabroni. <laughs> like for me, it's nothing you can take into the real world. In my opinion, I mean, it solidified him to like being the biggest celebrity now. Like, yeah, not even just wrestler anymore. Because, but and it's like, bro, like it's like it's a icon. Lot, a lot of it's icon. It's a lot of times you don't even talk about rock in the in the fucking movie. You, you talk about you yo, talk the about rock the rest electrifying. Mm -hmm. Stone Cold, Stone Cold had throwing the, throwing the first nigga I seen do this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He even did the, even. Yeah, he used to do it this way. Oh, after a while, right? After a while, he had to do it like mm -hmm. that, cause he, he used to blur this shit. <laughs> even D Generation X. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, X Pac. Getting everybody in trouble. I want to be like X Pac, cause he was that little, that See, little, that little nigga. That's what I was saying. Well, I was right. gonna bring up the point of why people don't tune in, cause mm -hmm. you see, you just said like X Pac. He was in the main eventer. He was a mid card. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, it was so many mid cards, under cards that you wanted to see, and they had they the people was buying their shirts. Yeah, that's what made wrestling. They was the, it was like it was like if you had a superstar, all star, and just star tiers. Like back then, it was a lot of that, and the stars was really close to superstar and all star yeah. tier. I now it's it. not like that. Mm -hmm. Now it's, you got the superstars, and you got you got some cool miss, um, mid tiers, but then it's a, it's a lot of misses. I think. When it comes to wrestling right now, for me personally, the most times I, I hear anything about wrestling is that a lot of the new wrestlers is wearing Jordans. Right. Like, or, 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 or trendy sneakers. Like, that's the only time I really see anything about wrestling. I don't Enzo hear, Amore. I don't hear about nobody getting thrown through tables like that. And I'm saying it don't happen, but like where it's like a crazy match and then somebody went through the, the table where the host, the announcers is at. Or, or they getting set on fire. Yeah, something ridiculous like that, or the or brawl in the crowd. I want to know if anybody that worked for WWE is looking. I want to know what was the budget on fucking commentator tables. <laughs> but cut, bro, these niggas was ripping the little TVs out. <laughs> yeah. Remember, they would take the top off, ugh, rip the little TV out, get out of here. Ugh. Oh, five ugh. SmackDown, you could do that. It was hard. That Yo, was that fire. was tough, right? Feel me? And then it's like you breaking the table, like bro. What was the budget? I know they spent five million a year. On monitors and tables. But they knew that alone. was so. They knew that was such a classic. Like I said, it's timeless things. They Jumping knew that, off the table. They knew that that table going down and that breakdown of it was like insane. You had, you had, you had, bro. Come on, you had them legends. I think even like uniform wise, like everything. The gimmicks back then, yeah, like gimmicks from down to the uniform, down to like the shoes was cool, even though it wasn't like no famous sneakers or nothing like mm -hmm. that, like. Certain stuff like with, with um, 
with Jeff Hardy and them was when it looked like the Elevens. Like niggas used to be like, yo, they little, oh, they little boots the look Hardy like the Elevens, low key under the big jeans. And with the Jeff Hardy cargos, with yeah, the Hardy yeah, boy yeah, cargos. Yeah, the Hardy cargos. Like, the Hardy cargos is tough. Or Shawn uh, Michael, like Shawn, old Shawn Michaels heart, heart tights and, and the little, little had chain the, vest. Yeah, that was, that was hard. Like that. These drip. niggas ain't like, fresh. You have the, the, the little joint that go over the, the tights that, I don't know, the tap. Yeah, chaps, chaps. The chaps, yeah. Chaps. Yeah. Like these, the wrestlers, they not fly. These, these like this era's not fly. Nah, I, my son Seth Rollins ring gear be fire. Now, and then they used to dress like SWAT, <laughs> <laughs> right? But I mean, that was their gimmick. The la- I ain't gonna be true. The, in more recent times, the last person that had the, the coolest gimmick was Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy, like honestly, like yeah. being being that cool guy that's like untouchable and just, just like rolling around you, the ring and wrestling dope. wrestling with your hands in your pocket is crazy. It's shout out that, to Orange yeah, Cassidy. That, something like that is dope, but how much of that today is going on enough to like be like, yo, this is I'm missing it. Like, the, what you feel like you're missing out I, if you don't watch. I it. feel like the somebody that's going that goes hard with the gimmicks and is always successful with them is my man, the nigga that used to do the backwards shit, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, he's well, a legend. He still, he still he be back, huh? He back. He's back, right? Yeah. With another gimmick, right? Yeah, oh, he, yeah. He was. But it's some, not as good as the other ones. I which mean, one? He's got to build up, but he was on some monster shit. He was on some hillbilly. The hillbilly shit was hard. The Wyatt family, that was fire. Wyatt family, I remember that. They could have made the movie off them niggas. <laughs> that or game or something. That shit was fire. Yo, we said who? The Fiend. The Fiend, Fiend was the Fiend. fire. The Fiend. Top five gimmicks in wrestling. Undertaker, of course, that'd uh, be number one. You think Undertaker be number one? Undertaker, Undertaker shit. Undertaker music was fire. Undertaker. Then he had all kind of gimmicks, even even down to the American badass. But down to when he he had the flames on the on the on the sides of the ring. Yeah, that's under that's that's Undertaker. Yeah. Nah, that's not that's that's, that's Kane. Kane. Kane's Only Kane. Kane, you sure Undertaker never did that one? They probably had a, the brothers, the, the structure had of a, tag team. They had an inferno match. They probably that's an inferno match. When the, when okay. the fire be woof, woof on the yeah, side. Yeah, no, no, I know that. Yeah, and whoever yeah. get burnt lose. Yeah. yeah, that's hard. But um, definitely um, Kane gimmick is fire. Like Kane, like Kane, Kane. I feel like Kane don't get enough flowers. You know, niggas back in they told me that they were switching out Kanes. Back in the day, they told me they used to switch out canes. Like, mm-hmm. that's not the same cane from 98. Mm. That's not the <laughs> niggas is lying. That ass. I think my cousin Mo told me that. What about um Hulk, Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan. Get, I was just talking to oh, Flair yeah. about Hulk Hogan. Hollywood Hulk Hogan yeah. was his best gimmick. I don't give a fuck. With the black beard, with the, with the <laughs> brown <laughs> muscle. Nah, not that <laughs> one. That's um, when he came back. That's oh, you talking about when he was with NWO? NWO oh, yeah, oh, Hogan. Yeah. When he was doing NWO. this. NWO. Was we, that was, nah, we wasn't. No, that was Flair that was saying that though. With the guitar, nah, he cooked that. He cooked that. The hurricane, I don't care. Stand back. The hurricane is coming through. That was fire. The Rock wanted to do the gimmick with. I mean, wanted to do a, a segment with him. That's how. That's how you know how over he was. Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> that nigga was a legend. Mister mm-hmm. Ass, I don't care. I'm an ass man. <laughs> Dun, dun. And people took it wrong because we was young, like, hey, yo, this nigga's ass. Mm-hmm. This nigga's talking about ass. He's wild with the ass. Like, nah, nigga, he's at, like, he, like, ass. No, 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 no. He probably was on some <laughs> shit because <laughs> I'm lying. I'm lying. Now I think because I, I listened to the song. I'm an ass man. And he was like, I like to hug him. I like to kiss him. But he was on some, like, my ass type shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> shout out to Billy Gunn, the legend. Then he had that uh, Gizzle um, come up with, with oh, damn, the, G. With the um, uh, you look, look so good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a yo to the 10. But guess oh. what? That was fire. The song was Chuck fire. Palumbo. The song was fire. What is that? That is it, Chuck Palumbo. Uh, Chuck Palumbo. Oh, yeah. the le- I said Palumbo. Pause. <laughs> Chuck Palumbo, yep. That gimmick was fire. Even that nigga gonna be like, nah, you wildin' wave. Oh, Gold Venus. Gold dust. Gold dust, gold Yo, was, and Val Venus. I'm not gonna lie, maybe because I was young and I don't know, I just like the the. Maybe I was a Cisco fan, so I think the I think <laughs> I the don't hair, think you really wanna. I think the, the hair had me like hype, like even in games, like back then I used to play, like I want to play with Gold Dust. But then when I like y'all saying when when 
when I, as you get older and you see the timing he was on, mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, I can't rock with him. I'm not rocking with him like right. I used to. Cause I didn't know it was all that before. Cause you just, I'm in, I'm in love with the colors, the the like the outfit, and then I see the hair like remind me of Cisco. Mm-hmm. But then as you start to get older, you start to see like, hold on, you watch when you get to the ring, and then his interactions, and you're like, hold on, hey like, yo, whoa, I can't, I can't put. I had to move to like Rob Van Dam and and Rey Mysterio. That was my Rob guys. Van, but Rob Van Dam wasn't really a it no, not a, gimmick. But I'm just talking about now. He was just mad cool. Wrestling. I mean, he was a gimmick though. It was a gimmick because Rob Van Dam. They used to say he looked like John Claude Van Dam. Wow, I thought they were brothers for a long time. Nah, his real his real name is Robert, like Rob. But the Van he was Dam. A, he, another thing about him, like certain dudes, you might have like had more love for because when you saw how good in the game they was, like. Like mm. Rob Van Dam was he moved he moved fake faster than other than other wrestlers in the game. I feel like Rob Van Dam, his his like for him as Rob Van Dam, I feel like he was his self, like how he was outside of wrestling. When you look at his interviews, he still got the same mannerisms, the same tone as he was as a wrestler. You feel what I'm saying? Like Rob Van Dam is a lead that's one of my that's, he's in my top five favorite wrestlers of all time. Mm. Cause he was he was he was just good. He was just good. Edge and Christian. Mm. You think you know me. Edge and Christian when it was with the brood. Mm-hmm. With Gang Gangrel. Mm-hmm. Godfather. The God that was crazy. You know what was the craziest gimmick, bro? Crime time. Oh yeah. That was so crazy. It had two black niggas with braids. <laughs> and their name was Crime Time. And it was going around robbing niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, R- 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 recently, you know, recently we 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 was talking about that. Remember when Vince McMahon said, "My nigga." Oh yeah, that was okay. he was bugging. Do-rag he was bugging. <laughs> Do-rag 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 Vince. Like, what? Yo, I seen I seen a clip where I'm gonna send it to you, DG. When Vince McMahon had I I don't know what episode of wrestling that was, but I guess it was like a light shining on. He was like, "Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah." That shit had me crying, yo. I said, "Nah." These niggas is crazy. But it was a lot of star power, man, back in the day when we was watching wrestling. Even the Hawk, the Hawk, uh, Hardcore family? Hardcore Holly and all of them? Crash Holly, Crash Hardcore Holly, 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 Holly. Holly. He was with... Dudley Cr- Boys. The Dudley Boys. Spike Dudley. <laughs> Damn, yo, 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 Spike Dudley used to get his ass fucking whipped. OG. Every time. The Dudley, def- the Dudley dog was fire, though. But yeah, man. Shout out that era, man. It ain't. It just look how much references we got. Like, look how many wrestlers we touched on. Like, and still, miss, like, ain't even get to dudes like Triple H and the get. You know what I'm saying? That's your favorite wrestler. That's my favorite wrestler of all fucking time. Triple H, the legend. Time to play the game. Yeah, his gimmick. Yeah, when, when he <laughs> came, when he became the game, bro. Mm-hmm. It was it was I like game Triple over. H for a time lights, too. lights out, bro. Let's t- let's 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 shout out to wrestling. Let's talk about something that that really caught my eye. Something that uh all of the um men in America, or well, not all of them, but you know, shout out to the men in America. We saw something, and we was just like, wow. I just want to say shout out to um Damson Idris Idris. Uh, you won. Shout out to Swarm. <laughs> you won. <laughs> this is a, it's, it's a it's a um, series, if I'm not mistaken. Episode one, about two minutes, maybe four minutes into the into the episode. Heavy clapulation. Was he European or he's American in it? I don't know. He was I didn't American. watch it. I didn't watch it yet, but I know I just I seen it. I, I just seen the scene. Oh, you don't know what we have no idea what we're talking about? No, nah, I don't know anything what y'all talk about right oh, now. Oh, oh, oh. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Hold on to your seatbelt, baby. So Damson Ildris, he played a character in this thing. And I'ma just say it. He clapped the cheeks of Chloe Bailey. In <laughs> this movie and the cinematography they could have they could have they could have been a little more more um rewarding rewarding <laughs> on the shot because like if you watching it they have it it starts 
basically bouncing off the mirror of of them. Like it's not directly on them. It's the camera shoots towards the mirror and you see their reflection in the mirror. Chloe Bailey arched up, brain thing out. You got my man Damson pressure, putting the pressure on them. <laughs> and then and then and then you got um I guess the other girl in the scene is like watching them and they end up like she's just looking at him. And he's just, you know, he's just putting the pressure on Chloe. <laughs> and all you can think is he's he's a legend. So Twitter went up in flames. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's amazed. They like, yo, he clapping her, he clapping Chloe cheeks on on um on set. He get to go home to Lori Harvey. Mm. He played Franklin Satan in Snowfall. His mm. he living the life right now. He redeemed. He redeemed because his his wifey in Snowfall. <laughs> he redeemed wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, 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 I can get to that point. I don't know. No, you know, no, no. You know what his wifey look like? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's talking about she did something crazy yeah. in the episode. He's talking about Snowfall. <laughs> Ooh, she's metal. <laughs> <laughs> He redeemed. He redeemed. He's a part of the redeemed team. He's definitely he is official <laughs> member of the Get Back Gang. Cause Sheesh. bro, but real quick, not to go, not to go too crazy, but back to the scene, bro. Everybody already knows Chloe brain thanged out, bro. They had her arched up. Like shout out the director. The director was like, "I got us. Put that ass. Us. Put that ass up. <laughs> I got us." The direct yo. Whoever, whoever, whoever read this, whoever read episode one, it was like, I'm on yeah, set yeah. today. <laughs> it's lit. That director said, the director said, and action. <laughs> you know, cut, every, cut, cut, cut. You cut. know, everybody that day was just, Fuck. everybody was just <laughs> smiling that day. They, they, he was getting coffee. Like, you ready for the day? <laughs> like, oh yeah, you ready to go? You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? You know everybody want to be professional though. Like, yeah, but you but you know the energy was like clean. clean. It wasn't no like, oh, this is gonna drag. And I don't want to really tell her, you know, tell her. Yeah, man gotta tell her. I gotta I, show, I, I gotta uh uh Chloe must be expensive. Damson must be expensive. Yo. You gotta be uh, imagine not being um not trying to not being bricked up though. Like Yeah, I heard they scene. put something between them though, oh, like okay. a, a stress ball or something like that. A stress ball? Yeah. <laughs> I knew something was coming. Like, like, forget it. Um, <laughs> nigga, she was a stress ball. <laughs> Shit. But um, Ooh, it was a good scene. Top five sex scenes in a movie or a show. That's tough. <laughs> I think Wolf Rip that I could remember. I think um, Monsters Ball was crazy. Oh my god! I heard he. <laughs> I, I heard he really killed though. I don't know. Nah, I'm nah, serious. Nah, he really killed. <laughs> no, somebody he told killed? me that. Yeah, that's and I think that's why Jada said, "Why Halle let a white white boy popper to get an Oscar?" Mm. I'm serious. Bro, look it up. Look it up real quick. Look it up. Look you it up. Told, look um, up. what's his name? Uh, Th- Thornton. No. Yeah. Um, Billy Bob Thornton. I heard. He, I heard. I heard he really fucked. <laughs> if he didn't, then he didn't. But nigga, I, I'm telling. Look, let's look it up. That's not hating, but I mean, <laughs> that's not <laughs> what was the other? Um, give me another one. Basic instinct. Yeah, what? That's like the. That's like the. Um. See, but how do I just know a random ass website is 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 keeping it a buck? It says. It says according to various internet sources. That the sex scene was simulated. And then it says, did the deed on camera, and that's why Angelina Jolie broke up with him. But then it says, I used to date a man who was friends with Billy Bob Thornton, and then Billy Bob told him that she grabbed him and slipped him inside. That they did have real sex at least once. Who, him and Halle? Yeah. Also, I know Eric Benet, who was married to her at the time, and he got so ups- upset he had to leave the set so he couldn't take it. He had to leave the set, he couldn't take it. Did somebody else say Halle Berry admitted it was real? The unrated VHS version briefly shows the testicles and base of the penis. Unfortunately, that was cropped out. My son hit Halle, bro. And Angelina. And Angelina Jolie. But he hit Halle for work. (laughs) 
That's tough, and that's fucked up. Oh, okay, so this looks like it was a quote. It says it was four. It was dip. four days before the end of shooting, so we knew who these people were, and we just went for it. We both agreed to uninhibit it with our bodies, so it wasn't just the woman who was being exposed. And we just said, "Let's service these characters." We only had to do it one time, which is good because you don't really want to have to go there that many times. So he really cooked. <laughs> Damn. From that, but I don't know how. Like. Did you see that scene? You make me feel yeah. good. She said, you make me feel good. Damn. Okay, wait. Let me see. Hell of a job. Hell of a job. Damn. But off rip, I don't know. I mean, like that's a, that, that would be one of the top five, if not top two, top one. Yo, y'all got y'all never seen Basic Instinct though? I did, but I don't remember off the Bro, top. He, yo, she was kill, she was cooking niggas shit and was stabbing niggas with the ice pick. I could remember the first movie I seen, like what sh- people having sex in was uh Species. I knew he was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> that way she got me. I, I was like, oh, yo, I knew I knew you was gonna say that. Every real nigga in America with a VCR had species, and as a little nigga, you spanked your shit to that. I go, yes. Nigga, what? Nah, species. I think they did. You might be right, wait. Yeah, they cooked wait, on species? camera. Species, nigga. And it was, she was like an alien or yeah, some she was, shit, She bro. was trying to find the, the, the top tier nigga so she could, you know, have a seed. Yeah, she, and she wasn't getting, she was letting niggas hit. It wasn't getting pregnant. She was killing them after. Or like she'll she'll find out something wrong with them and she'll kill them before. They yeah. Even do anything. Oh man. But she didn't really look like an alien. She was fire. Nah, she was like a wavy, a wavy white, white joint. joint. Yeah. That's crazy. You heard? Species, nigga. My son Forrest Whitaker was in that. All that. Yo. Species. <laughs> that fast. You saw Species before? Nah. Oh man. If I did, I don't remember. You go download that in your mind. Go to feel me. Pay that two cash on Amazon and. <laughs> Nah, um, bro. No, I got one that Nick that I don't know if y'all know if y'all see would have known about it. Um, it was a sex scene in Insecure. Oh, I didn't see that with your boy. Um, oh, he, he had yo. the threesome. Nah, it was oh. before the threesome. With he was the black the shorty from the bank. Oh yeah, that was intense. <laughs> he, he that, cooked yeah, up. She was fire. He cooked up. He was cooking her a couple times. But you said it was intense. Yeah. What episode was? <laughs> <laughs> that was one of that was like I don't know if that one, was it. I think that was first season. Insecure done went like five seasons now, so it's, it's a couple sex scenes. What's on, on HBO one. Max? I think so. Huh? I need one. I need an HBO Max. If it's not, it's, it should be on. It's probably on Hulu. Hulu? Damn. I got Hulu, but yeah. I'm like, where but nah, we? that that one that they talked about that one because it was it was like that looked it looked like close to real. Cause they be naked, they be full out naked. And you shit. know why it be hard now to say that? It's cause it's so it's so much scenes now, like in, especially in recent days, yeah. like they, they just be fucking. Like on um, <laughs> uh, power every episode, the starting scene somebody having sex. Yeah, Yo, you know what's you know what's a funny thing. You know what's a funny thing, and shout shout out to Wild. Remember when we we was talking about um, what's that P Valley? Yeah. And I, I I was like, yo, nigga just backed out. <laughs> nigga just backed this shit out. I'm like, hey yo, hey yo. And she like, and when she said, she said, wait, how's that gay? <laughs> and I'm like, yo, he pulled this man out. She's like, you watch porn, right? right. And I was like, <laughs> oh, shit. I was like, damn. You right, you right. You right. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you yo, right, you right. But after he said that. That was crazy. After he said that, he fucking reminded me like, yo, Lala got, got some scenes out yeah, right now. Yeah, Lala got some she, nice she, scenes. <laughs> she, Her shit. She's been, she been killing no the No disrespect game. to the queen, but. She's been killing the game. Yo. Damn. <laughs> that BMF shit when he, my son was my son was he he I need that like he <laughs> I need that he took it and said I want that like he I like you they were saying it was dating in real life hey 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 <laughs> yeah that's hey, bad reference <laughs> hey that's the different that's a different type of booty warrior <laughs> yo they the was, reference that we talking about you said nah, what nah because Da Vinci Da Vinci was no they were saying that I was saying like you know anything about that was that true. No, nah, I don't know. I never heard that. in real life, Da Vinci and Ain't he a young, he a young cat. I know, but that's why I'm asking. I mean, shout out to the... I mean, you do that many scenes. Shit. <laughs> shit. I'm I might ready. start to like you. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Who was it? It was a couple that they became a couple after. Like, oh, and they... P-Valley. Motherfucking... What's the, what's that name? App, App, Miracle Watts? And Tyler oh, Pele? Oh, and, and homie? Yeah. He was, he was blessing that. Yeah. He blessed that up in that. In that he too. blessed that. 
and her shit was looking crazy and that I, I, I you shout see what out I'm to saying even the scenes today is like like you said it's like it's making it hard to really like versus acting they looking like and, they looking like only fan clips I can't even lie. It's better than OnlyFans clips because you don't be getting nah, shit Nah, they're not better than the OnlyFans clips. Even Some of like, these OnlyFans girls ain't doing nothing. That, you, you ain't find the right ones. I mean, Get I'm it. not buying any shit. I'll give you my password later. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> what's good? Yo, that's crazy. But yeah, shout out, shout out to everybody getting it. You know, they act, they act in chops. Mm-hmm. Getting chopped. Um, you think you ready for that real quick before you go on? Like... You, could, you think you could do a sex scene in the Nah, in the... I can't throw my chicken nugget up on the on the silver screen. <laughs> on no. the silver screen. Why would I throw my chicken it's nugget acting up? Though, like, no, you gotta do the belly lift back shots. But could you do that on, on set right now? I feel like the belly lift back shot is something sacred. Like, <laughs> like you really like 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 for me to really I, it's no acting out the belly lift back <laughs> shot. You have you have to do it. You feel what I'm saying? But do you know they got like I think they got different things. They got like Fake pieces and stuff like that. They got they got stuff that separates y'all. So you the pressure is there. So they capturing that on screen, but you might not actually physically, you know. The belly lift is magical, bro. It's magical. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, but you you gonna get paid for it. Like it's on screen. You doing you acting. You not ready for that? Even don't gotta be that. It could be a different position. I'll do it. I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely do that. What about you, Gigi? Just don't show my ass. Me, it's, it's like, you know how they call just don't, it. They just, love don't think, that. just don't show you my ass. You never seen they love showing a, a nigga's ass. But you see, you, you see a dick thing. Is called, <laughs> for real. Like, if you watch sex scenes, they love that, bro. Even after the nigga, get, the nigga walk yeah. off and shit. I, I'll, clap, I'll clap something for the, for, the, for the acting, but don't show my ass. <laughs> you see the thing they call it, method acting? Imagine like you like you really going to be on some like damn I really want to cook shorty shit. No, that that's happened. Even even um they were saying that um remember Taraji P Henson was saying that about with Tyrese because she said they was like more like brother sister and then they had to do them sex they had to act out the sex scene and she would like she would like be goofy or some shit she said like she would like start talking like a kid or something. And like it'll help him like soften up. Yeah, like she you know she was doing it on purpose so that I think she was doing that with um Terrence Howard. She was saying, but she also did something with Tyrese to like make it more comfortable because they felt like more brother sister than they did like a couple. She thought they felt like brothers. And sister. I know Tyrese <laughs> like shit. Still would have been but I'm, dope. <laughs> yeah, but you, I mean, you gotta practice. And you gotta be respectful. Like if you are, you can't just do it and, and be like, oh well. Like you can't. You get what I'm saying? You gotta be like, yo, my fault, my fault. Like at least apologize. Oh shit, my bad. Yeah, that's crazy. You gotta tell like yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Like <laughs> I said, I'm ready. Yo, let's talk about Bronny James, man. Is that is 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 the hype hype, or is he really is, is he really that? Go ahead. I think if he wasn't for his name, I mean he's a great player. Don't get me put, don't get me wrong, but I, I think he's hype. Just a little bit. Just a tad we bit. we gotta look at it like like why is it a big deal? You get what I'm saying? Because it feels like it just feels like a, a situation where they just want you to fail. Like, because I bet you if he was like super amazing, number one or top three at this point in, in his career, and, and the career is really just starting, but like mm-hmm. in his high school career, if he was top three, people would still be saying shit. He ain't going to be this good for that long. He ain't, he ain't gonna be doing that in college. You know what I mean? You still mm-hmm. gonna get some kind of criticism, of course. Whether you that good or you not that good, has to me from watching him, has it looked like he's gotten better? Od, yeah, absolutely. He's gotten way better, and then people have to understand the kind of school he's going to, which is a basketball school, which recruits Top Division players. One players all the time. Mm-hmm. He's playing against some of the highest competition. Yeah. When he went a on the AAU circuit, he was getting a lot of a lot of praise, a lot of love. He might yeah. not have had super breakout games, but they was like, "Yo, Bronny did his thing in this AAU tournament." Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So knowing that he's playing against the highest competition, he's putting himself with the um the best opportunity to go to the next level and be prepared, most prepared. You know Yo. what I'm saying? Whether he's gonna be a role player or not, I don't know. But I still feel like it's not worth calling it out yet. Like yeah. let him let him go through his life. My thing is I think Bronny is nice. I think he's nice. I think he's good. I just think that he's his father's son. Because 
we all we all see it. You know, us that pay attention to Bronny and we all see it, bro. It's like you're the strong. You might you might be the strongest person on that court. Why are you not busting these niggas' ass? Why are you passing the ball? And then it's like he sometimes he he passes the ball into a into double teams. It's like Bronny, go to the cup, Bronny. Shoot the ball, Bronny. Dunk on these niggas. Like, mm-hmm. you know how sometimes Bron be Bron be trying to be a play, bro. Cook these cats, bro. This is high school is the time for that. Mm-hmm. We already know you could pass. We know you 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 could play make, bro. Kill these cats, bro. You think Bron was doing that in high school? Bron was pulling threes. Bron was uh, nigga. It's high school, bro. Cook up. But I do think Bronny got what it takes to um. To do his thing. I love when I love college basketball because this because we gonna see development. Mm-hmm. You know, some people go first year. If you got it, you got it. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna see development from Bronny, and Bronny's gonna get nice. Mm-hmm. I do I do believe that so, so like with social mm-hmm. media, these 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 um you know basketball basketball companies and things like that. They know listing him is going to get them talked about. You get what I'm saying? They know him being on the on the list is important because obviously they're going to get pre- they're going to be getting looked at by LeBron. LeBron's going to be like, "Yeah, I talk about my son. I want y'all right. to talk about him more." You know, he wants nothing but the best for his son. Like he said, whatever his son he his son could pick where he want to go. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's like whether he was worth it or not, he going to be a walk on or something, right. even if nobody didn't want to pick him up because they're going to pay that bread and he at least has a chance. You know what I mean, but it's like it's expected from from the 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 them companies to do that because mm-hmm. that's what's going to bring them viewing. They got to talk about Bronny. Who else is there to talk about? Right. You know what I mean. They, uh, Mikey not doing his thing. The thing with Mikey was that he transferred schools and he ended up in a in a, in a division that don't play the best competition. So and then it's like when they do play the best competition, they begin cooked. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, they played that vertical academy that the Trey, what's his name? Trey Murphy? I don't think it's Trey Murphy. Trey something, the, the, the one that be going jelly crazy. Yeah. They, well, they played together. Excuse me. They played together, I think, on the AAU circuit. But I think when it came back around that they played each other or something, they, they began cook, bro. For sure. So that's all he, like, he's still good. Huh? That don't, don't take nothing away from Mikey, but the rankings change for you because you're not playing the right competition. All them dudes that get ranked in the top 50 and stuff, they playing each other across the world. Like, they playing the, the teams across the, the states. You know it's crazy? Son, even if he don't go to the A, he got the bag, bro. With that new deal, with like, they be giving the niggas. He's, going, he's, he's probably going to make it because his stride is, is, is he's at a younger age. He's, um, he's, I think he's Santa Puma right now. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, that he good, but the ultimate goal is the NBA. And the situations too, when when dudes go to college, you got to realize sometimes, even when you felt like you was that you was number one, like when you go to college, you facing all the people that was number one in high school. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, maybe you have what it takes to go at dudes and be and be the star for your team, but also control your team. Like you got to still play within the team. Yeah, that happened with Bonnie and Monty Bates. Yeah. They need you to. They need you to close the show, but you all you can't just go for forty from straight out the gate. You know what I mean? Like you get your points as the game go by, and you the closer. A lot of dudes can't play like that when they get to college, and then they want to transfer schools, and they can't play amongst the team. You know what I mean? So it's all about your fit, where you end up going. But I think for Bronny, it's just like let's see before we even write them. Like all they want to do, it feel like all people want to do is write them off or be like it's exaggeration. Yeah. Let him get there. Shout out to the young ballers out there, man. Going crazy. We, yeah, we going crazy. What's what else we got on the menu? Remember, yo, do y'all remember? Remember, Bronny had that was smoking the weed. <laughs> the story. I found, like, I found the, I found the pick. Looking like a cornball. Like we smoking the Nuggets pack or something like that. Wallet, yo. He he posted. He get back on social media for for a couple months after that. I know Bron. Bron, Bron was, was like, like smash, hey, yeah. hey, cut that shit off. You think bro? You think LeBron whooped his ass? I don't think LeBron would, but he he probably was in the doghouse. He probably, he probably was, was talking to him like I look like Bron look like the type of pops here. Like he'll look at you and make you feel like shit. Like Bron did be like <laughs> he look like he, he look like he was like what the fuck man what the fuck fucking dog? asshole 
What the fuck, Ronnie? I was Ronnie? smoking weed at that age too, man. You know you're not post. How you? How the fuck you fucked up and post that <laughs> shit online? Imagine it was Laval. Imagine Laval would have caught niggas doing that. Laval would have cursed that nigga. Yeah, La- Laval would curse you out. He'd be pissed. You were asshole. Remember when he, oh, when he saw when, when he saw Jello had all the tats? He was tight. Yo, he I'm, swear he kicked that nigga out the crib. Yo, he. I remember. Um, what was it? Lamelo was cursing or something. Mm, yo, said, Lamelo be wild. He said, "Move them cameras." Yo, come in, man. Come in. <laughs> He really was like, yo, you out here acting a fucking fool, nah, man. Nah, LaMelo ain't have no filter when he was young, yeah. yo. Yeah, he, he, he was bugging. He was bugging. bugging. On that show, he was wild. Nah, you, see, you see when he was in high school? I don't think it was on the show, but he was like, yo, I'll cook you. I'll cook you. <laughs> Nigga, the cameraman, I'll cook you. <laughs> Nigga, why you laughing? I'll cook you. Nah, LaMelo was different. He put me on to the, he put me on to the, to the, to the Bull Brothers. Hills. Yeah, he put me on to the Chino before he, I was before, like, yo. Before Lamelo even got yo, to ninth like, yo, grade, I was like, "Yo, wait, this team right here—they they bugging. They because because basically what happened was, Lavar found out like just a, a super game plan because he had the the talent to do it. Where it's just like you gonna beat a lot. It's kind of like Warriors, but it's like Warriors a Warriors two point just because it's not NBA based. It's way more freedom to it. But their plan was just that they gonna outshoot you." Or like, what's his name, D'Antoni, like a Mike D'Antoni offense. It's run and gun. But the reason why you can't catch up is because they fire so many, like the amount of attempts they probably have versus you is probably already 15, 20 more than you. And they got a nigga, LaMelo, um, Lonzo was able to throw like a quarterback, bro. So he take the ball out, he launching it to his little brother from full court. And that's an easy layup. Nobody getting Jello back to them. Jello on the side, ready Jello, to shoot. Jello lights out. Jello in the corner, lights out. And they just like, yo, so we not even going to really play defense for real. So it's like, y'all got to y'all gotta be nice. If y'all can't shoot with us, y'all going to lose every time. Because soon as y'all, soon as that shot go up, La, um, LaMelo is out. Jello is out. And then Lonzo just getting the rebound and looking for him. That was probably like one of the most exciting high school basketball clips I've seen ever. Like, you think at so? That time. You think so? Yeah, bro, that shit was so fun to watch, bro. I don't think no clip is better than um Shaquille. I said Shaquille, a kill call. Mm, the crime stop mixtape. <laughs> the uh, crime my name stop. Is a, my name is a kill call, and it's my hoop mixtape. He was making niggas dance. It's so crazy because he's still nice today. I still see him call. taking dudes one on one, playing one on one games for that bread, cooking up. You know who's one of my favorite players? Gabe York. I know Gabe you. York I remember was you, nice. you showed me Gabe York for sure. That nigga was fucking yeah. nice. He went to Arizona and all that. Mm-hmm. He was a legend, but like, you know him. That. But they, they had that little black kid that was dunking everything. Um, remember the one black kid on their team? I forgot his name. Fuck is his was name? Was his name Shaq he, or something? Nah, you talking about um? Fuck. Oh uh, man, he went to M- SMU. Mm. Went to SMU. I just pray that um Lonzo get his career back. Yeah. Eli. Yeah, injury. Eli Scott. Eli Scott. Yeah, right. Eli Scott. Eli Scott's a legend. He was nice. Eli Scott was nice. Yeah, Lonzo, my son Lonzo oh, Ball, come man. Back. He's get, he he was starting to get his shot crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they saying he get he getting his third his third surgery, man. Yep. So he might miss he might miss most of next season. No, too. he is gonna miss the whole season next year. He's saying they gonna have to start looking at the Chicago Bulls because that whole remember um with um this dude um Rose Derrick Rose, Rose and now this like yeah. they might have to start firing niggas bro. But they was I know they were saying they, they might be cursed too because Jay Will had that accident back then mm-hmm. too for the and he was on the Bulls too. He said they paying for that night for their nineties run. That's tough man, but blessings God bless man. Alonzo was a defensive specialist. I think that's what, I, and I'm I'm kind of mad he changed his shot. Yeah, but he makes it more now. He makes it, yeah, but I feel like that shot was was so water in college. Remember, he did the step back, landed on the logo, and see, but that's that's the confusing part because it's just like how, what switches from between college and you know mm-hmm. between college and NBA that certain dudes don't. Yeah, I mean, it's a little further. No more. The three point line. Nah, because they was in college. Them niggas be firing way behind the line. You got to think about that, too. Jimmy Fadette, legend. And look at little Brother. Like, even though LaMelo, take, he fucking take a lot of threes. Half court. <laughs> he take a lot of threes, though. But when you when you get that many attempts up, you able to hit more. That's a fact. Let's talk about, um before we get out of here, man, what the fuck makes you a cornball? 
What the fuck makes you a cornball? Because I'm not going to sit here and act like there's not cornballs in this world. But what the fuck makes you a corn? I just feel like the ladies, like, the ladies hold that power. That ultimate power to determine if you're a cornball or not. And once one female could go you a cornball, you might be a cornball for the rest of your life. That's awesome. Dead ass. If one female around a around around a a, a group say, yo, this nigga's corny, mm -hmm. you might be a fucking cornball for the rest of your fucking life. So I just want to know what makes you like I mean it's different things depending on, you know, depending on who you ask, depending on what what they they like or don't like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it just overall, it's it's something along the lines of of a person that's you you might be doing too much. Like sometimes you do too much, mm -hmm. or on the opposite hand, you do too little. You get what I'm saying? You don't do enough, right? And then just like he corny, he corny because he regular, he corny because he boring, mm -hmm. or he corny because he showing out, he corny because he want to be the face, like he want to be in the front. And he faking. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it depends. One thing for me that I find is corny is when what? a nigga try to look for uh <laughs> look like for validation. Appreciate. Look oh that's corny. for validation, like nigga, you see you see what I got, bro. Fuck that's you corny. About, like. You looking for validation and only reason why you got what you got is just so your friends, so your bros could say, Oh, you good, you good, you good. Right, you don't do it. You don't do it because it's in a lifestyle for you. Yeah, you do it because you know that's what you think people looking you for. You went, you cop. Oh, that's what people saluting. You cop those. You cop those shoes because the the majority of your friend group got them, but you fucking cracked your pockets wide open <laughs> to get them shit. And now you fucked up. Like, <laughs> yo, let's go to the spot. I'm like the spot. What you mean the spot? <laughs> I got the spot on my feet, nigga. It's over. You feel me? But. Sometimes the corny shit, the corny shit, it gets thrown around loosely. Calling somebody corny, it gets thrown around loosely. Like even with the Michael B. Jordan shit, he he's called corny because he had like because he was on some different on different timing. Like, what was he be called corny for? I seen I read some shit he, where they where they said he was walking around with headshots. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, you oh, know. she no. This is the, what happened was the. The bir the person who interviewed him on that carpet that he was like, yeah, the corny guy, remember? She was on a radio show with somebody else. And that the other person was like, she think Michael B. Jordan is corny. So the one he interviewed was like, I used to go to school with him. And it wasn't that he wasn't corny, but niggas made fun of him because his name was Michael Jordan. And that's, you know, you obviously we know him as Michael B. Jordan today, but obviously in, in school, you nobody was going by their middle name. He was just a Michael Jordan. Mm hmm he didn't play ball. She was basically saying like he wasn't he wasn't a baller. So it's like you, your name just Michael Jordan and you trash. And she said he used to walk around the school with headshots, and that was like corny. I guess they were saying like nigga who was doing like nobody was doing that at that time. But the time. crazy was thing weird. is he was in the wire at that time. Yeah, but he was on his way. But she but she agreed though. You yeah like, she 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 was saying she made fun of him. That's that's better than being acting like she didn't. Right. You get what I'm saying? And then he remember her like. But when he said the corny thing, she ain't really, she agreed, she did agree, but she ain't necessarily say, yeah, he was corny. She was just like, yeah, we made fun of him. So now she, when you see him on the carpet, yeah, a nigga going to bring, like, yeah, I, you remember me? Look where I'm at. Like, that's a, that's a, he flexed but on her. Michael, I said this on Facebook. Michael B. Jordan is a, def, excuse me, is a definition of, I can't, I can't wait till I'm lit. I can't wait till I get lit. It's over for y'all bitches. What? Corny who? And it's funny because even <laughs> niggas were saying that too. How many women you think do that on a regular? Like people were saying you they was ugly in in high school they they and they wavy now. Even without even without the body done, like some just turned wavy mm -hmm. and wasn't wavy before. Like oh you was on, you wasn't on my body when I was fat. You was you was calling me on type of name. Now you want to you want to get with me? Right. It's the same difference. You get what I'm saying? Y'all just y'all just didn't like the feeling of seeing that woman like how she felt like oh she had to take that. I because one, he made it. I remember one time a girl told me I was corny because I didn't smoke. You see? You want some corny. That's boy. facts, though. That that happens. Like Everything. Or you I'm, don't got tats. I'm cor Yeah, like, you don't got tats? You a square. All type of shit, bro. That make me corny? Like, what the fuck is going on? But it's up to you, like, whether you, cor you, know, whether you corny or not. 
or feed into it because you could have heard that and been like, well, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna get tapped. Yeah. But now I'm gonna get, you know, now I'm gonna start smoking because I don't want them to say I don't I'm corny. Want corny. You don't know what that shit could do to somebody, but it's a lot of corny motherfuckers out here, man. It's a lot of corny motherfuckers out here. I remember we spoke about this before. A corny nigga, like a nigga that just get extra funny when the girls is around. Oh, D. Like, you ain't never been funny before. Now you fucking. Kevin Hart. You Kevin Hart. You Chris Rock. Ooh, that Chris Rock shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he bought. He. I mean, I don't think he bought it. Yeah. I, I just. The ending, the ending was trash. Don't fight in front of white people. That was trash. Oh, the end with that? Yeah, I guess he was trying to be funny, but it was whack. Yeah, I mean that's that that must really be his era of of sayings. Like I didn't, I can't really say I heard that before. Don't fight in front of white. But I, did, I heard, I heard somebody speak on that. I think, but yeah, like you said, I don't think people could say he violated. Like yo, somebody smacked him in his smacked me in my face, nigga, on a war show that was nationally televised. And you been came at me, Jada. Like you been came at me because I was hosting the fucking Oscars. He tried to tell me to. He said, "You gonna tell the grown man to quit his job?" Like, mm-hmm. cause your husband ain't get um nominated. nominated. So it's like it's it's you gotta talk crazy at that point, cause it's like is Will gonna smack you again? You know what I'm saying? The next time if he do smack you, it ain't gonna be publicly. He might. Nah, cause he going he lost too much already. <laughs> you gotta think about that. Will Smith lost. You know he lost a lot. He had to chill out for a little bit. Mm-hmm. He had to play the back. He probably lost a couple roles. He probably like, nah, we gonna go in another direction. So he can't afford to really smack you again. You get what I'm saying? He can't afford to smack you again publicly. So it's like no holds barred. You can't. You're not really ready to. You're not built up to hit him back. My thing about Chris Chris Rock, bro. Like I understand. He said he was bigger than me. He he played in my heart, bro. If a nigga smacked me at the Oscars. At the Grammys. <laughs> the Marlon Wayne said that shit. In McDonald's. Marlon fucking... Wayne said if he would have smacked me, it would have been on every day, every time I see them. Yo, real so New Marlon York. Till I, get, till I get up. Real New York Marlon, legendary Marlon shit. The same height as that nigga. So what? Nah, nigga, you I... smack me, it's over. I'm fighting you. you but Chris Rock always been saying that he was pussy, even even back in the day. But you heard Chris, he got money though. Like, <laughs> you better make something shake. I ain't saying, go, you know, go kill him or nothing, but. You can go run with goonies, them goons, bro. Goonies, you run with them goons. <laughs> goonies is outside every day. Yo, that's Will right there. Yeah, scared. Fix him up right now. <clears throat> Chris Rock. Chris Rock turned down the invitation to the Get Back Game. <laughs> and with that being said, this has been another episode of the Legendland Fucking Podcast. Man, make some fucking noise, y'all. It's always good to be back with my brothers, man. Listen, you can follow me at Big Wavy underscore legend. B-I-G-W-A-V-E-Y underscore legend. You can follow your boy at Mo Black underscore M-O-B, M-O-B, M-O-E-B-L-A-C-K underscore. You M-O-B? <laughs> What's good? You can also follow us at The Legendland Podcast on everything. Um... Please like, comment, subscribe to our fucking YouTube page. Thank y'all for the support so far. Thank you to everybody, you know, interacting with the clips. We doing our thing. We got a lot more in store for y'all, man. Appreciate y'all keep us going, man. Shout out to Forever Young by Ron. Shout out Forever Young. What's good? Can we get some drip? <laughs> Hello. Shout out to um Keep Off the Garden. What's good? Can we get some drip? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Shout out to Doogie Oogie in control. He said they was coming back, but... And I said last podcast, I'm not shouting them out no more. <laughs> in control, T. All right, whatever. Um, Who else, Black? Shout out to Dope Fred. To Dope Fred. Break. It's the Kid Nas. It's the Kid Nas. Shout out, shout out my cousin Mayo, man. Mayo, happy belated, happy belated birthday to happy the... belated birthday. To the bro Mayo. What's good? Buzzing. Yes, sir. Um, shout out Wops. Shout out to shout the out big, big Wops. Shout out Big Wops. What's Wops good? Cool, what up? Shout out to the guy. Come on the show. What's good? Come on the show. You got one. We got one. We got one fifteen for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's really good? good? Shout out to the guys. Shout man. out the fucking general. Shout out the Hillers. Shout man. out to the fucking. Shout out to the Hillers, man. Posh gods. Posh gods. Nels. Nels. Nuve. Nuve. Flea. Flea. Aaron. Aaron. Prince. Prince. R.P. Relly, man. You know the vibes. R.P. Relly was good. Shout out to the fucking general, man. 
Shout out to Prima. What's Shout good? Prima. I saw you was in that studio. I saw you was in that studio. Queens. Go download that Dizzy. It's out everywhere. Please go download that. What's good? Shout out that Keep Off the Garden, man. Shout out Keep Off the Garden. You know, we always we gonna shout out the legends. Shout out to Keep Off the Garden, man. Um, shout out to T Diddy, band on the beat. What's good? Band on the beat was good. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to Joe from Yo Dilo. What's good? Gazas. Shout out to the guys, man. Shout out to the West Side. Shout out to Harvard University. Mm-hmm. No play was good. Shout out Lido. Shout out Lido. Valentino, it's really good. The Gaza, the Gaza, you, man. man, appreciate you. Yes, sir. 100%, always showing love. Always showing love. Always showing support, man. That's that's fire, man. I appreciate you, bro. One day, come on. <laughs> One day, um, pull up for a taping. <laughs> you never know. It was good. We oh. shout out Naya. That's her name. Naya. Naya. I I gotta remember their names. She's pretty. This these your these your people's till I meet them for sure. I think that's the same person. Not yet. What's the other one? What's the who's throwing the party? Sade. Shout out to Sade. Sade. Was good. Facts. I don't, I'm gonna shout out to Sade. Shout out to Always show love. Y'all always tuned in. Party's about to be a movie. I'm Cinco glad you de Mayo. It. Party's about to be a movie. I'm glad you moved it. Mm-hmm. Cause I'll be there. It's, it's going down. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to um. I'm gonna just say never. Never in your wildest dream. Shout out never in your wildest dreams. Shout out never in your wildest if fucking you know, dreams, you man. No, you know we we working on something special. We working on bringing in some some more hitters. What's that? We work work we working on bringing in some more hitters to the pod so we could you know take it up. Who that? Talk, Come on, man. We gonna talk off camera. Yeah, you know who I that. You know who that is. If you if you know, you know. You know. We was already talking about it. You know. Oh, what's good? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah. That's that's his um that's a, that's one of the um collections, you know, a part of the brand. Uh huh. And yeah, let's do it. He rocking with HD. Yo, HD, come on the show. I'm gonna work on that too. I got it, you know. HD. Oh, that's your man. That's yeah. not the rock. Name. What's good? Shout out to HD, man. The rock. What up? Yes, sir. Yo, we got, come on. We Throw your diamond it. in the sky if you feel the vibe. You know, we gonna make. We gonna bring. I'm gonna bring the hitters out. Let's do it, time. man. We gotta do it. Fuck it. Time. Let's do it, yo. I was talking to my shout out to shout out to Marcus, man. Shout out to shout Malibu Mark, the shout legend. Mark Thomas, I was talking to um we was talking about something and this song that I thought about, it fit it fit the occasion and I can't I can't stop listening to it. Y'all remember y'all remember Jay Sean from Cash Money? Yeah, Sean. He had he had baby, are you down there? Yeah. But he had the song of Lil Wayne, the Yeah, don't you know that I'll be? Mm, I don't you know that. that I'll be? You can never lock me up. You can never break me. It, I mean, I, the song is fire. <laughs> you know, for me, shout out to shout out to my cousin Mark, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Thank you. Shout out to Brooklyn, man. I got a lot of um, I got a lot of blowback from that Brooklyn oh. comment. But when did y'all <laughs> niggas? Blowback is crazy, right? That was crazy. Blowback. <laughs> blowback. Yo, shout out. Um, blowback is crazy. Yeah, blowback is kind of crazy. No, I was just laughing at the good, good one. <laughs> they, they mad at you. They mad at me, bro. Cause when did y'all niggas become the cleanest? This is the I'm not even gonna get into it, but when did Brooklyn become the most cleanest? Huh, Brooklyn was scared. I'm ready. That's when the cameras started pulling up. Word, man. Shout out. Shout to, out to Who Hurt You, Bro podcast. Shout out to Who Hurt You, Bro, man. We Shout out to legendary shit, man. We're gonna work on that um podcast collab from one pod to the next. Either we're gonna go over there, I like they setup, or they're gonna come over here. Mm-hmm. We like our setup, but we're gonna make it happen. Just who the who hurt you, bro? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who hurt you? Yeah, I, we like what, what they got going on over there, and that's a fact. I know. was definitely tuned in a couple of days ago. Definitely fire up. I love the the content. Let's do it, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to make my appearance. They from mm-hmm. Brooklyn. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I told you first. Shit. First, first, um, first thing to talk about is is uh, is Uptown versus the um Fuck. Uptown versus Brooklyn. Why? Why they keep calling us dirty? <laughs> Yo, it, it, I ain't on front. I feel like they chilled out until Ice Spice said, "You, we from the Bronx. You know we dirty." They brought it back, right? <laughs> niggas was like, "See, see, even your own is saying." I don't know it. why, bro, but I felt that. I felt that, bro. When she said that, yes, because I remember <laughs> being a dirty kid. Everybody, <laughs> no funny, no funny shit, bro. Keep it a buck. If you was outside and you was like 
Really, a kid outside. No kid was just fresh all day. And you outside. couldn't go home because it was over. It'd be over. You you bring home. your ass back in this house. You gonna stay up here? It was over. It's no way you Damn, was a stay dirty. It's no way you was a kid. But you wasn't even thinking about that. It was like I'm dirty. It was good. We were just playing <laughs> ball. We were just throwing dirt bombs, nigga. It's, 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 it's a garden across you from my crib, nigga. Mm -hmm. And we used to ball up dirt. Remember, Gigi? <laughs> I grew up with this kid. Yo, bro, we used to throw dirt bombs at the cabs, nigga. We was dirty, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we was that was dirt that we, oh, bro. Man. We was dirty. I'm dirty at heart, bro. <laughs> we used to play wrestling with the boxes that was in the dumpster. Remember that? Yeah. To put each other through the through, through the boxes. Dirty shit. <laughs> Every so if I'm dirty, Brooklyn's filthy. <laughs> shout out to legendary. No, shout out to legendary Brooklyn, man. Brooklyn, what up? Brooklyn, what's good? That's I fuck gonna be with dope, Brooklyn, though, man. Facts. That's gonna be dope. I fuck with Brooklyn too. Word, man. Shout out to who hurt you, bro? Podcast. Shout out to legendary shit, man. Let's do it. I'm ready, man. Word. And with that being said, man, Legend Legendland Podcast, episode 57, man. All right. We good. That was, I thought it was a That was a classic. Why are you looking at me like that, bro? <laughs> do do the honest. Good. 